Good morning, ACHS students. This is Gabe with your announcements. Seniors, if you have not yet, please stop by Ms. Rowdy's room to sign the Class of 2021 signature shirt. The shirts are $10. If you would like one, please see Ms. Rowdy. On to your weather. Good morning, Bearcats. Here's your weather for the day. Today will be a high of 46 and a low of 27 with 10% chance of rain, 61% chance of humidity, and wind will be up by 4 miles per hour. On to your next segment. Good morning, Bearcats. Most people know that COVID vaccines are being given out. Now, what are some side effects of the COVID vaccine? Well, in the arms where you get the shot, you have pain and swelling. Throughout the rest of your body, you have fever, chills, treadness, and headaches slash migraines because your head is just going to hurt. You're going to feel like crap, and that's why they're not giving it to people under 18. Now, things that help prevent the COVID is cover your, cover your mouth and nose with a mask around people who don't live with you. Stay at least six feet or two arm lengths away from others. Last but not least, the governor has asked everyone to start doubling up on masks or washing your mask uh, after every use. And then wear it like this while you're at school. That's your COVID updates for the day. On to your next segment. Hi, welcome to a little positive info because we can all use some optimism. Sales of t-shirts and sweatshirts featuring the viral image of cross-legged, mitten-wearing Senator Bernie Sanders have raised nearly $2 million for Vermont organizations like Meals on Wheels and Feeding Chittenden, as well as groups supporting elderly Vermonteers. Jane and I were amazed by all those creativity shown by so many people over the last week, Mr. Sanders said in a statement referring to his wife, Jane Sanders. We're glad we can use my internet fame to help Vermonteers in need. One crocheted Bernie Sanders doll sold for $20,000 and was donated to Meals on Wheels America. The viral image taken by Brendan Smilowski quickly became a meme, spreading like wildfire across the internet. Mr. Sanders had been meticulously edited into images of the moon landing, a New York City subway station, and even a scene from Game of Thrones. Mr. Smilowski said in an interview with the New York Times, quote, Things have been pretty tough throughout the last year and politics can be pretty nasty. And here are people just having fun. End quote. Getty Images, which licensed Mr. Simulowski's photo for the merchandise, will donate its proceeds from the license to Meals on Wheels America. The wool mittens Mr. Sanders wore to the ceremony drew a substantial amount of attention, made by Jen Ellis, a Vermont school teacher, who said she gave them to the senator years ago. Miss Ellis also said that she had made three pairs of mittens and donated a pair each for auction to Passion for Paws, Vermont and outright Vermont. The third pair, she said, would be auctioned on eBay to support her daughter's college fund. The Vermont groups benefiting from the sale of the Chairman Sanders campaign merchandise said they appreciated the surprise gift. Quote, we are blown away by the support for our Meals on Wheels program by at Sen Sanders, Agewell Vermont said on Twitter. Rob Meehan, the director of Feeding Chittenton, an emergency food provider in Burlington, Vermont, said, quote, Senator Sanders has been a champion for people who experience hunger, and this gift will go directly to the purchase of food to be distributed throughout our food access center. This has been a little positive info. Looking on the bright side with you. Now to your next segment. So what are some of the things that you make in culinary? Uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, we make some suckers, uh, cookies. People can order those. They're 50 cents a piece or two for a dollar. And uh, we make that, and depending on what we're doing that week, what we're learning about, or what we're being, what Miss Wampler's teaching us about, it all just depends on what we're doing that week. It, that's why I like the class so much, because it varies on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, on Fridays you all have a teacher lunch program. What exactly is that about? So pretty much every week we just uh, make a lunch for all the teachers, and like today we're making uh, spaghetti and meatballs. So just every week, teachers will get something to eat. Yeah, so we make some of the things in advance, so it's yeah, not yeah. that difficult on the Friday. So today we're making the sauce. What number of room can you pick up the suckers at? Room 128. Okay. Do you all go out on the cart and sell them throughout the school? Uh, a few days of a week we'll go after lunch and we'll have a cart and we'll sit outside the lunchroom when people are leaving and then they can buy uh, suckers and cookies there. Okay. Um, how much would the cookies cost? Uh, cookie, cookies are 50 cents and then a dollar for two, then same thing for suckers, 50 cents and a dollar for two. Okay. So thank you for enlightening us about the culinary program.
that'll be all. On to your next segment. If any teacher, staff, or students have anything they'd like to be announced, please email us at bearcatbroadcast at anderson.kyschools.us. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.